Hey there internet, Keith here and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel and in this video we're going over the Fantic V10 Apex vacuum cleaner and also their V8. Now I'll let you know right off the bat they sent these to me for free to review. Now I told them I do only do honest reviews, I don't do commercials so talking points that kind of stuff is only so much. I We want to show the good, the bad, no product is perfect so that way you can make your own informed decision. This is 80 bucks, 120 bucks, which is the better value? fixing to find out. There's a 20% off checkbox right now, which should be good through the 16th of November. Also with that, I have a 10% off discount code on Amazon. So you can use Keev V10 Apex. It'll be right here. Now, when you go to checkout on Amazon, go towards the payment area and then click where it says use gift codes promos, put that promo in there and you'll be able to use those combined to get 30% off of the Apex. Now I have a discount code for the V8 as well. It's right here. That's Keev V8 Mate. That's good for 25% off total. So you have 15% off checkbox on the site and then my 10% off. So the V10 up close, as you can see, it has an LED light right here. It has a display. We'll turn them on to let you see. The eco mode, that's when it shows up in blue when it first starts out. You saw battery percentage is by the number. It's not bars. So from 100% to one, just be wary, this thing lasts about 13 minutes in max mode. So when you see that percentage indicator, it's going to drop about 1% about every 8 to 10 seconds. So it looks like it's depleting faster than it is. It's good for 35 minutes uh, on eco mode. This is 50 AW, 17,000 kPa. On the back, you have a rubber port here for your USB-C charging. You also have a slot for one of the brushes that comes with it. As you can see, it tilts in seven positions from fully closed to open. You have a flap here that opens it up to where you can dump your dirt out. Push this button and then turn, that opens it up. And then from there, you see we have our filters. You have a cloth filter here, and then you have a washable filter here. Now at the top, it already has a nice opening for getting the debris in little corners and stuff, but this also extends out. With it, you get a bag, you have an extra air filter, you have a brush to help clean out that filter and other parts. You have a USB-C charging cable, and then you have a soft bristle brush. This one I really like, really soft for say keyboards, uh, vents and cars. And then you obviously have a hard bristle brush. You would put one of them here, one in the back, fold it up, and there it is. And when you're charging it, the indicator will show the percentage. It has a blue ring. Once it's done charging, it will just go blank. So you'll know when it's charged. It is a brushless motor. They said 80,000 RPM. Uh, a lot of numbers, you get, you get mixed up in the numbers when it comes to marketing. It's all about how it performs. Now this right here is the one I was really interested in as well, the V8 Mate. This is really simple and straightforward. You have an on button. And your max. Now, when the battery is low, that will indicate orange. When you charge up the USB-C on the back, it will light up and kind of blink blue. And when it's full, it'll just go off. Top here comes off. When you turn it, it'll click. And then you have a little bitty mini air filter in here. Obviously that metal part is washable. You have your container. If you want to empty, you just click the yellow down and push the button and it'll pop open. Has an opening already that's good for small little areas. I mean, this has an extendable hose extension. Pops right in there. You also have an extension for this part. You also have a harder bristle. You actually have a pet hair and then that can slide off. And then you have kind of a felt piece right here and it does come with a bag and it comes with a little brush as well to clean out your filters. And this one right here is about 30 AW, about 12,000 PA, 30 minutes in eco mode and about 12 minutes in max mode. Plus this comes in four different colors. The black like this one here, this gray, white, and blue. Size and weight, the V8 is 1.2 pounds and the V10 is two and a half pounds. Now on the V8 from the highest point, to the lowest point is exactly one foot. It's about the exact same on the Apex unless you put the brush on the end. The drum at the widest point from side to side is a little over five inches and completely folded. It's about six inches from bottom to top here. The uh, V8 accessories are smaller openings and obviously the V10s are bigger. They're not interchangeable, which if you were a Fantic fan, you kind of would want them to be the same. That's kind of one down thing right there. It's for how expensive the V10 is, for what it does, you just have two brushes and that extension. Uh, you don't have the hose. Now I understand what they're saying with the hose. This little tiltable thing is what's going to help, but the hose like really 
this is way more flexible to get into areas that this will never be able to get into with that tilt. The opening right here to clear the dirt, it does click in. I mean, it has a good secure thing, but the lever is too good. <laughs> I don't even say that, but when you pull on it, it like, so if you were to snag that in the car, like on your, your, you're doing your floorboard and this is going to catch the side of the seat rail or something should be a little bit more play in there. So it takes a little more effort to not accidentally do that. The accessory storage isn't really, you know, that tight. This right here, overall, I can't find much of a fault other than just the size of the area. I, I don't have much else to say with the accessories and everything uh, for this. This is actually quite good, especially for the price. It's $80, but remember all the discounts total, that's gonna put you at about 60 bucks for this. Let's show them together and see how much more powerful this is, which is the main reason you would get something this large and obviously the bigger drum for more collection. Now, obviously these are not shop bags. So this is surface dirt. So we're gonna just throw a bunch of sand. We'll throw a bunch of dirt. We'll throw these bad boys right here. Uh, but I think this is more about what you're going to encounter in a car. And we're not just going to let them sit here. We're going to try to work them in a little bit. So here's the V8 Mate. Uh, we're going to do Eco Mode. Cleans up pretty good on Eco Mode. As you can see, we're leaving a little bit, but that sand really likes to dig in. Same with the dirt. Pretty good pick up there. Pretty good pick up there. You can see we still have a good bit of space, but we are definitely really covering up the filter area. So the suction power is going to start to deplete. Fold that yellow down. We push that button and you can see some of it got caked up in there, especially that dirt and that sand. So it's best to undo from this side and work that out. Uh, let's do it on max now. We have already completely filled up. You heard it. It struggled because there's no more airflow. You see that sand is sticky. It does really well. I mean, for the size and what it is, the suction power is quite good. Now, like I said, it's not getting what's been deep down in the burrs, but now we have some attachments to try to get that out. And when it comes to the dirt and the pebbles, they're gonna be able to come out without you having to take that filter out. Now we've got our brush attachment. We're just gonna do this on high. Okay, we're getting most of that out on the dirt. Got most of that. Now let's try the pet part. I, I don't have any pet hair. It goes on this way. I don't expect this to clean up very well because these little rubber pieces are not gonna help get out sand and dirt. And it's just kinda spreading it around. Now if you take the pet fingers off, we have, it's, it's kinda like felt. It's picking up a little bit more of what was there. The part that I like the most is this extension right here. Look how small it is. It's like writing with a, a large, uh, like a dry erase marker or something. Yeah. You see, we have gotten clogged up again. Now we have tons of dust uh, in there. So when we get done, it's best to kind of blow that out with uh, an air compressor blower or something to get the, everything out of that filter. Also use your little brushes, that'll help as well.
Well, we picked up a good bit of material. The V8 Mate, it's awesome. Really, uh, I can't say too much bad about it other than the dustbin is, is a little small and it clogs very quickly on these type of materials. There's no storage, that's the one problem. It does come with a bag, but it'd be cool if it came with like a mount that you could like uh, attach to something and then mount it. I think this tilt is going to be really good uh, for upper shelves because you can just tilt and then instead of having to hold, you know, way up here, you can just hold it like this and then you have your angle down, obviously, as well, your angle up. So very versatile there. It also helps make this much larger vacuum work in smaller spaces. So this is eco mode. I did pretty good and our dust bin's about about half full and we still got plenty of openings so we're just going to continue with the dust bin full put it on max Wow, look how full that is. And it still had suction because of how the, the filter is designed to work all around. If I push this, that dustbin cleans out a lot better than the V8. I think it has a lot to do with that metal mesh being much smaller. Uh, it clogs easily. This, the holes are much larger. Now, obviously the soft bristle brush, I'm not gonna use. But this one, we have this slightly harder bristle brush that will hook in. Like you see, I accidentally hit that button right there. So that's another thing is when you're holding this, if you're holding it here, it's just gonna quickly fall apart. But I don't see it as a problem. The only problem, like I said before, is that this just opens up too easy. We're, we'll go ahead and, and put it on tilt with uh, this brush. We'll extend it out too while we're at it. And put it on max. I think the brush is pretty effective against the dirt, not so much the sand. The brush that comes with the V8 is, it just feels like a slightly harder bristle versus this. See how, versus the feel in your hand, you can hear it, the difference. Just see what's happening. Let's pick up this pile again. We're gonna put it in max. Oh, we're clogged up. I mean, it's actually quite impressive. Uh, that is a lot of dirt. It's in a fixed position. So when I tilt like this, the light is no longer shining on where I'm picking up dirt. So that light only works in that main position and it's so far away, it really doesn't illuminate as well. I really, really rather have this like mountable on a wall on a just kind of click bracket or some kind of other solution rather than just a bag. Uh, this in a car, even in a bag, it's, it's the size, it's going to roll around. The V8 is much smaller, can fit in areas where it's not going to move as much. Well, here we are in my garage. What we're going to do first is we'll check out Heidi's driver's side. She gets driven quite often, so be prepared. This is horrifying. Oh, wow. So we're going to see how this works in this confined space. So for say up here on this carpet up in here, I can fit pretty good. Obviously, I'm not going to run it because you won't be able to hear me talk, uh, but that's part of, you know, that flexibility. I still can't get to everything, but I can get the most. And then, obviously, I can just use this button one hand and I can put it up against something to kind of change my tilt. To get, say, down in these areas right here, to get down in there without issue, 
Now the one area you're not going to be able to get to because this is just too big is between the seats. Actually it does get down there but it's not long enough to get to the floor. That's all you got. Trust you guys. You see it cleans good in the areas that we cleaned. Now you see the ergonomics of that tilt. I'm not having to hold it like this, like I would the V8 and go back and forth. Obviously V8's half the weight of this, uh, but you see I can hold it like this and you see that soft bristle to clean up in here and to get down in the little crevices around. For your cup holders, you can change your tilt to where you're still at a good angle. You're not having to hold up like this to get in there. You can hear my plastic of the vacuum hitting the plastic of my car and most likely scratching it. You have to be very careful, you know, and that's gonna put some weight on your hand and fatigue to sit there and have to hold that without touching the background without having worries about scratching it. So I really wish I came with a little bit of a rubber coating to help keep you from scratching. That car, the V8 is versatile and it shines. So you turn it on, put in the cup holder, and hold my little hose, and I can clean around. Get way down here. When I'm done, I can turn off. You got your shot back out. Obviously, you would use that most of the time. Uh, but for that quick cleanup on the road, this is a really good solution. But the brush that comes with this one as well, it doesn't have any rubberized coating to keep it from scratching. And also, it does not work with uh, the tip here. It only works at the end of the vacuum. And having this just in the car, say back here behind this net like that. Obviously you wouldn't carry it with that extension on there, but it fits perfectly right there. Now the V10 Plus fits perfectly in there just as well. So it's not gonna go anywhere as long as it's behind my little net right here. We're back from the cars. One last suction, we are at 81%. Oh, we reached the limit. Well, there you go. I think they both performed quite well. And I hope throughout the video that I gave you any information that you needed to make your own informed decisions. Like before, the link's below. I explained already the discount code stuff. Make sure that you do all that right to get the most discount possible. Now, would I buy these? I think I would. I definitely would buy the V8. Uh, I think that's an awesome Christmas gift for a dad, a brother, or even a wife in a car, especially when you got kids spilling cereal all over the car kind of stuff. That would be a great thing for that. The V10 is great for it as well because it picks up more. It's definitely more powerful. In an environment like my garage, the V8 isn't going to work, but the V10 could for cleaning the top of my shelves, uh, cleaning in areas where I don't want to have to do the shop back and hold the hose like this. That tilt of the V10 is going to enable me to do that more ergonomic, less strain on myself. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out carswithkeep.com. Check out the links below. Don't forget the bloopers coming up soon, and I'll see you. In the next video. The Cars of Keefe YouTube channel. And welcome to the Cars of Keefe YouTube channel. Brand new. Now I'm gonna let you. I mean, this has. I mean, this has an. I mean, this has a. And this has. I mean, this has. And then obviously, girth. Girth. That's what she said. And not. And not. And not because it can't do it. It's just because the, and not because it can't do it. It's because, <sighs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the boopers.